One year after the biggest illegal immigration crackdown in our nation's history, the head prosecutor, U.S. Southern District Attorney in Mississippi, Mike Hurst, gave updates on undocumented workers and employers arrested. 12 News' Alex Love was at the hearing, and now he's live outside the Thad Cochran Courthouse to break down what we now know. Alex? That's right. The main charges came from uh, fr from employers that are unrelated to the poultry plant raids, two with AMB Incorporated and two with Pearl River Foods. They are charged with harboring illegal immigrants, uh, lying to prosecutors, as well as helping illegal immigrants possibly get fake IDs to obtain jobs illegally in the country. Now, uh, to, n now those now those four. Those four people appeared in court today, but one of the bigger questions was how these how these illegal immigrants may have gotten these uh, th this this illegal paperwork. Now, when it now when it comes to the poultry plant raids of the 680 workers arrested, for over 400 are accused of, of of stealing social security numbers or obtain or obtaining fake IDs in some way to get jobs. Take a listen. The illegal employment spurs that industry and keeps these people coming and keeps lining the pockets of the cartels. And then you have industries domestically who sold these, these, these criminal organizations that are providing documentation. They're document mills. That's what they do. We have a whole document benefit fraud task force within Homeland Security investigations that goes after them because you have individuals, criminals, making hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars selling, peddling fraudulent documentation. For the full press conference, you can visit our WJTV 12 News Facebook page, and we'll be sure to have a more in-depth report coming up in our 6 p.m. newscast. Live outside the Thad Cochran Courthouse in Jackson, Alex Love, 12 News.